What is up, everyone? It's me, Celtic the Casual. Today, we are back with another episode in our How to Play series. Today, I will be telling you how I have been playing Hunbats, the Shit Disturber God. Now, I will explain why I call this god the Shit Disturber God in time, but first, let's start with what his abilities are and what those abilities do. First off, his passive. It's very simple but very strong. Basically, any time he uses an ability, he gains 30% crit on basic attacks for a couple seconds after. It's very strong. It makes him very dangerous with some crit items. Now, as we move into the bulk of his kit, his first ability is a jump or a leap. He has 70% scaling on this ability, and if this ability hits a god or anything else for that matter, that target is slowed for 40% for about 2 seconds. His second ability is an overhead smash, it just does a shit ton of damage, it has high scaling and it has high base damage, it has 95% physical power scaling, it's huge. For his third ability, Hunbats throws out a monkey, it bounces around a little bit, and eventually finds a home. This ability hits about 4 targets and has 70% scaling on each hit. And what makes this ability super fun is you can teleport to the, to the person that's been hit by the monkey and then slap him around with some basic attacks. It's super fun to use. Now, I told you I would explain why I call this god the Shit Disturber God. And here's why. His ultimate ability, he throws down this cannon and it makes every single enemy flee in terror. It's hilarious to use. It's one of the funnest ganking tools in the game. You just drop it down, and then you can go and hit them with autos, hit them with your abilities. It doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want, because they're just going to be fleeing in terror. And then what's fun is if they pop beads on this ability, they're still going to be within range of your auto attacks or your abilities, so you for sure get a free hit on them. It's a for sure fun way to have a lot of fun and hit them as hard as you can. Now, as you can see in both this video and all of the clips that I'm showing in this video, as well as another gameplay video I made with Hunbats that I'll link down below, the build that I've been using is pretty standard and pretty consistent. With the recent cost change to Heartseeker, I will, if I'm behind, opt to go into Masamune instead because the cost is about the same and if you're behind the protection aura that Masamune gives is pretty good but I'm not going to put it on screen because it's already been on screen it's going to continue to be on screen now I will go into some detail with the build because some of the items and some of the builds that I say can be a little bit wacky so I feel it's good to justify my decisions a little bit now to start the games Unless it's Conquest, I don't pick up Bumba's Mask, obviously. But I do like to start every game with Bluestone Pendant, because it's very good early poke, and it's a lot of fun to use. Now, after that, I will go into the Power Boots, because he scales very well, and that gives you a very good early power spike, and that's important when you're, again, poking out the enemy. Now, to continue in the build, I do go into Heart Seeker. A lot of the gameplay that's happening right now is with the new and recent cost change, so I am still opting to pick that up despite the cost increase on Heartseeker. It's still a hell of an item. It makes your early poke a lot more significant. I might sell it later in the game depending on how it goes, but Heartseeker is a great item for early game because with the camps you're going to have the auto attack stacks anyway. So it's really fun to take advantage of the extra burst that you can provide on your abilities. Then I'm going to be building some maces, again for some more base power. I'll usually build Jotun's Wrath, then Brawler's Beatstick. If there's a healer that's causing a lot of grief, I might switch the order, but I do like going into Jotun's Wrath first, because that gives me CDR, and CDR is a very important stat on Hunbats, especially earlier on. But... The later the game goes, the more important your auto attacks are going to be. And as the game gets later and later, the more you're going to become an alt bot. But you can really make your autos have an impact if you build into two crit items. And those two crit items that I have chosen are the Poison Star and then the Deathbringer. Those two crit items give you, with your passive, a very high chance of critting. When you do crit, you are going to slow the enemy, weaken them, 
and slow them, which makes them easier to catch. And then Deathbringer because you want to increase your crit damage. That's the build that I've been using. It's been working very well for me. I haven't had too many bad games on Hunbats. It's a very fun god to play. It's a very easy god to pick up. So, to quickly recap everything I've said in this video, Hunbat scales like a bitch. He's very fun to play. If you build power on him, you're going to have a good time, but as the game gets later, build crit so that your autos hit like a truck. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to play our little shit disturber monkey today. If you enjoyed watching, leave a like on the video. If you want to see more videos from me, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, guys, this is Celtic the Casual, signing off.